Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be reviewing Hardy's newest member of the ultralight family, the ultra, ultra high performance, extra fast, ultralight X. Stay tuned to see how it does. This new ultralight X replaces the old Hardy Wraith in the lineup. It's their newest ultra fast rod, and it's built with your favorite 90s sports car inspired Centrix NSX technology. If you've watched our reviews, we're big fans of Hardy rods, and this is just another great rod in the lineup, but with some more specialized uses. So before we get out of the field and cast it, let's start at the bottom and walk you through some of the features on this super cool new rod. Starting at the bottom on this nine foot five weight, we've got a single uplocking reel seat. This one's pretty cool. It's got this nice carbon insert here, pretty nice burled wood. And overall, it's just a really high quality feeling reel seat. And that goes into sort of a standard reverse half wells grip, just what you'd expect on your nine foot five weight. Taking a page from Orvis's book, Hardy has done this off color label for their ultralight series. And I actually kind of like how you can see the graphite, but it definitely adds a certain look and flavor to this rod that maybe not everyone will love. Still, I think it's neat to see the innards of the blank and it's a cool look. Moving up, this has the now seemingly signature reddish color for an ultra fast rod. I'm not sure who started this trend, but definitely the Sage Method was very red back in the day. And you can just sit there and imagine yourself in a rod marketing meeting thinking, well, sports cars are fast and they're red, so maybe we should make our rods red. Because that's what really fast rods should look like. Either way, it's a little bit of an odd choice. This one is maybe not quite as offensive as the very, very red rods, but it's still gonna have a reddish copper color and it's very bright and everyone is gonna know which rod you're fishing, particularly here in 2021. Then we've got cool spigot ferrules and these ferrules are actually better than the ferrules that you'll see on a lot of rods that fit over the top. They're just a little bit harder to make and a little bit more expensive, but we like that a lot. Then of course, as with all of the rods in the ultralight family, We've got Seracoil guides and recoil single foot guides going up the rod. Really, really top notch componentry on this Ultralight X. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes and see how it casts. So when you hear the term ultra fast in fly rods, the first thing that comes to mind is telephone pole. And I'm pleased to report that this thing is far from it. In fact, if you would consider this Ultralight X, a true ultra fast rod, it's actually quite remarkable what they've done here. Starting at 40 feet, you've got a rod that is fast, yet still capable of producing some feel in close. That's something that I can say I've never seen before. Sure, it's still fast and definitely not the absolute best rod for those short distance casts, but to have a rod that can also cast the entire fly line that you don't hate casting in close, again, quite remarkable. Moving back to 45 feet, that's pretty much the same story, except the feel gets even better. Yes, we're fishing an MPX line, but the honest truth of it is that you could easily take a Rio Gold or some other true to weight line, and you'd have a very similar experience with this Ultralight X. It's just a very, very well-designed rod that's got progressive action throughout the blank. 45 feet, super, super accurate. And with that extra added strength in the butt, you can really carry a lot of line and make those casts very, very accurately. 60 feet, as you'd expect, it's just an easy rod to cast long distances. Dare I say it comes into its own at 60 feet and it's, incredibly pleasant to cast. And just for fun, and given this is an ultra fast rod, I decided to make a couple of really long bomb casts with it as well. And I'd say it's really actually a tool that you could theoretically use out to 80 feet. And that's a really long distance for a five weight because there's never been an opportunity for me to cast at a rising fish 
80 feet away. So after nearly 10 years of rod reviews, I can honestly say that this Ultralight X has done something that really no other rod has done before. And it's a fantastic design, especially at this nine foot five weight size. With that said, it's still an ultra fast rod. And as you'll see in our Poseidon score, it does have some drawbacks. It makes you really wonder, still as good as this rod is, if anybody really, really needs it. I think 98% of anglers would just be better off with the Hardy Ultralight, which is just so much lighter and an overall just as good, if not better of a tool for most trout fishing situations. Now here's the Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, this Ultralight X is really accurate across all distances maybe slightly less accurate at 30 feet than some of the absolute best rods, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. In terms of components, Hardy beats just about everybody and it earns a 9.5 out of 10. In terms of distance and power, this rod is really good. As we said at the beginning, it's an ultra fast rod and like the NSX in its name, it is quite fast and has all the power that you're gonna need. With that said, there are rods out there that are stiffer and that you could definitely cast further, all else being equal, but I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Up next is the grip, and this grip is totally fine. For whatever reason, I felt like something was just a hair off on it, so I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. In terms of looks, this rod is gonna polarize. There will definitely be some people who will take one look at this rod, say that they love casting it, but will never buy it. We definitely saw that with the Helios 3, with the Sage Method, and lots of rods that are brightly colored or do something a little strange that is non-traditional. I'm gonna say seven out of 10. Up next is swing weight. And this one comes in at about 65 gram meters squared, which is a little bit on the heavy side for a, a nine foot five weight. Sort of what you'd expect, again, for that ultra fast category. By no means light. I'd basically say it's a middling swing weight and it earns an eight out of 10. In terms of value, this rod is quite expensive at $850. With that said, if you do really need a rod that does what this rod does, there's nothing else on the market like it. So in a sense, you could make an argument that an, it's an okay value. On the other hand, there are Winston's and Scott's that just feel a little bit more high end. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 for value. Last but not least is the cool factor. And I would love to come out and tell you that this is the hottest new rod on the market, but simple fact is it's not. It's still a hardy. I'm sure they're raving about this in Europe right now, but here in the US, it's gonna earn a seven out of 10. And that leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 64, which puts it slightly behind some of the top rods that we've ever cast, like say the Scott Centric, but it's kind of what you'd expect for a rod that's much more specialized than those all arounders. Again, this is a really fantastic rod if you need it but you should really think about whether or not you actually need it before you buy it. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.